What happens when we get lazy and we stop doing the things that we're supposed to be doing? Let's talk about today in another lesson from the garden for Motivation Monday. This week has been filled with tough lessons learned in the garden. It's especially tough because last year I had such an amazing garden and everything went so well. But you know, when I got to the end of the season, I got lazy. I just left the plants where they were. They sat there through the fall and the winter. I left the ground covering where it was and I just planted in the same holes. Well, I found out that has caused a lot of the problems that I'm dealing with. These tomato plants that were growing so well are experiencing a, a fungus that grows when you do exactly what I did, when you get lazy and you leave the plants there. That pathogen was allowed to, to, to fester in the soil and to grow, and now it is killing these plants, and there's probably no stopping it. Let's make an important spiritual application for ourselves. We cannot rest on the successes that we've had, and we definitely can't rest on the successes that someone else had. We constantly need to be working, thinking, growing, striving, and relying fully on God. And when as Christians, we just keep going through the, the same motions without any thought, without any effort, there's something that's gonna take over and it's not going to be good. And what can happen, the worst part, is that it can spread to those around us perhaps to our family, perhaps in the church. We can lead folks astray, we can drag people down, but we need to constantly be looking for the good. And so that's why I encourage you to look at Philippians 4, 8. It is my favorite passage, and you've heard it before here on Motivation Monday. But whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is good, whatever is pure, if there is any good in it, these are the things that we're supposed to focus on. And so in our life, in our day-to-day -day walk, we're constantly working and striving towards that closer, stronger, better relationship with God. Don't let a fungus take over in your spiritual life. The fungus and disease of sin will take over before you know it, and it spreads to those around you. I hope that this week you take a look at your life and the effort that you're putting into growing in God. And make sure that you're all in, you're fully dedicated, working with all you've got for the kingdom. I hope that you have a great week.